Hi kids, how many of you like to go swimming? You know, swimming can be fun. Sometimes you swim in a pool indoor and sometimes the pool is outdoors. I like to get in the outdoor pool in the summertime when it's really hot around here. You can also swim in a lake or in an ocean. You know, I always take this mask when we go visit my wife's family in the Tonga Islands. They're surrounded by ocean and I like to swim there. So, have you ever jumped off a diving board or a raft? Do you remember the first time you did it? Were you scared? It can be really scary the first time you do something like that. <clears throat> if the water is very deep and you can't see the bottom, well, that's really scary. And if you go underwater, you can't see a thing unless you open your eyes. But then your eyes sting. So that's why I wear this mask. Have you ever worn a mask like this? When you put it on and go underwater, you can see. It's like, well, it's like underwater glasses. You know, one time Jesus was by the big lake in Galilee, and his friends went out fishing. They stayed out all night, and when they came back in the morning, they didn't have any fish. They never caught a thing. <clears throat> they were putting their nets away when Jesus told them to put the net down in the deep water on the other side of the boat. Uh, you know, they were really tired. They'd been out all night. They didn't really want to do so. They didn't think it was going to uh, help them anyway. But you know what happened? They put the net down, and then they caught so many fish that it was too heavy to pull the net in by themselves. And they had to call for help from other friends. Wow. Um, do you think uh, they would have been able to see this many fish underwater if they could look in the water? Maybe if they wore um, a mask like this, they would have seen those fish. Um, but, you know, Jesus told them to do something that they didn't want to do because they couldn't see those fish. And they were very tired and thought it wouldn't do any good to put out the nets again. But, you know, they did it anyway. And they caught so many fish that they never seen that many fish in their entire lives. You know, it's hard to do things when you can't see how it will turn out. Sometimes it's real hard to do things your parents or your teachers tell you because you don't see how it can help at all. Many people don't like to try things for the very first time. It can feel really scary. But there's something we can remember. Even when we can't see the way, Jesus can see the way. Just like he know where, knew where those fish were for the uh, fishermen to catch. And we can always count on him to tell us to do things that help us. Well, thanks for joining me again this week. Hey, in less than two weeks, it will be Ash Wednesday and the beginning of Lent. I have a great Lent experience planned for you and for your family and everyone in our church. And I'll tell you more about it next week. So be ready. Stay tuned. It will be really great. I miss seeing you all in person. And I know I will be very pleased when I get to see you again. Remember to be good, listen to mom and dad, find ways to help others, and don't forget to pray to God and say thank you.